Yo, what's going on guys? XD Gaming here. Welcome back to another video. And today in this video, it's going to be a different type of video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to fix um error code 8015D002. Um Now, I don't have the error code right now like I'm signed into Xbox Live just fine. It's uh nothing's wrong, but cuz it shows up at random times. You have no idea when it shows up. But I, I've i heard of people experiencing these problems. And I've experienced them a lot. Um, when I used to play 360 a lot and stuff. Now, now I'm on the Xbox One. But a lot of people still play 360. Um, so I want to show uh, those people on 360. Who still struggle with this, um, with this air code. Because I know I did back in the day how to how to fix it so what happens is you go to you go to sign into your account and then for some reason it brings up the screen that asks you for your password and then you click continue it shows your email you click continue it shows your password you click continue and then it just and then it says couldn't sign in or whatever error code so there's there's a few ways to fix this it has a few possibilities one, you might have typed in your email and password wrong and everything's fine, you know. Two, maybe there's something wrong with your Xbox Live subscription or something. Maybe you don't have Xbox Live anymore. Maybe um, maybe you, you don't have internet or something. that It doesn't show up when for internet, but maybe it did. I don't know. Make sure you have internet access. And then... Um, if if those if those are if those don't work, like you've already checked that. Um, the ways to fix this is the following. So I know two ways personally that you can fix this. The first way is um, if you have like a flash drive or anything like that. So if you go to your system, go to storage, um, you'll see that you have like two two memory units, like a like a flash drive and a hard drive. See, I have two. I have those two. Um, if you don't. I'm going to show you that later in the video, but if you do, I'm going to show you how to fix fix it now. So, if you don't have an if so if you do have a memory unit, you go to your you go to your um you go to your game, you go to your um hard drive or wherever it's on. You go to your you go to your profiles and then you find the profile that's corrupted. So, let's say this one's corrupted. Or, yeah, it's corrupted. So you click on it, and then you click move. And then, and then, yeah, you move it to your second one. So you wait for it to move. Alright, so now as soon as it's done moving, you should be good to go. And, basically that's all it is to it. You, I don't... Uh, you don't have to move it back if you don't want to but you should be good then and you should be able to sign in to your account I've seen a lot of people do it this way and they're able to sign back into their account no problem see um, it just it just moved to your flash drive now for the people that don't have flash drives or anything other storage devices um, it's going to be a little bit harder. So, what you have to do is you have to go to system, go to storage, find where your profile is at. So, my profile is right here. You click on it, and then you click delete, and then you click delete profile only. Now, that's, that's, that, you have to click delete profile only, because if you delete profile on items, that will delete, like, all your stuff. No, delete profile only. Click that. So now I'll sign you out. It'll delete your profile, but don't worry, you can get it back. Don't worry. So don't act like I'm trying. Don't act like I'm trying to troll you and trying to get you to get your account off your Xbox. You go to sign in and sign out. You go all the way down to the end, and you go to download profile. You click download profile. You click download profile, and then you type. And then you type in your stuff. Now, uh, of course, I'm not going to show you my email and password. I'm probably putting something up on the screen right now so you can't see it. But I am just typing in my email right now. Bada boom, bada bang. And then you're done with that step. 
And then you type in your password. And then you select your storage device, and boom. You download your profile, and you, you'll have all your saved data and stuff as, as long as it's like on your hard drive and stuff. Since I don't think this works on Xbox One, but you usually don't get the air code on Xbox One. This is a 360 air code, because on Xbox One, it saves like your files and stuff. It doesn't save it like... It saves it kind of on your account and stuff instead of like on your hard drive. It's a little bit harder on Xbox One to manage your storage like it is on 360. Because the 360 you can like go into like each save game and stuff so. Um, but you can't access it unless you have your profile. So, so you, so you sign in to your profile. This might take a little bit depending on how much actual stuff like, like if. If I download my main profile, it takes forever because I have so much stuff on that. But if you download, but yeah, it just, it varies on how much stuff you actually have on your profile. So this is my second account. Um, add me. I, I don't know if I'll add you back. It depends, but you can add me if you want. Alright, so as soon as you get this, it will show up and then it says it was added with blank. Uh, click remember password so you don't have to type it in every time. And then click sign in. And then it should it should not give you the 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 the, 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 the thing anymore. Alright, here we go. We're signed in. We're signed in. Uh sometimes it might take stuff off like um like what else is, is your theme? It'll, it'll take that off. I get it might, but it's not like it's not like if it's on your Xbox, you'll be able to put it back right away. See, I just put my theme back on right away. See, it won't it won't like delete anything. See, I still have all my team. It still have everything. It's fine, and you'll be able to sign back into your account. Um, also the deleting profile works for your corrupt account because I. Because my profile has been corrupt before, or some files or something has been corrupt on it, and you delete it, then download it back, and it works fine. So hopefully, um, that the Xbox One it doesn't have that as many of these error codes because it's um it's better basically. So, but for a lot of people that can't afford the Xbox One and still just want to play 360 online, I applaud you, and I. You have to deal with all these air codes, so I'm trying to help you fix them. Anyways, I hope this helped you a lot. Um, if this if this helped you, please please subscribe to me and leave a like and leave a comment saying that it worked for you. And and if you do this, it will help me. It will help me in the future. Um, it will be help me in the future for creating more videos and stuff. And getting more content out to you quicker since I know I have an audience that wants to watch my videos. Um, another thing is, I just I want you to leave a comment if it worked for you. Because I want to see how many people I actually worked for. And if it didn't work for you, um, that's especially... If it didn't work for you, comment. Because I'll, I'll, I'll try to help you with that. Uh, I mean, I, I might not be able to reply to every comment. But if it didn't work, tell me. And maybe I'll, I'll post another video out. Um... If the if this doesn't work or something, uh, it should it really should work though. Anyways, um, I hope you have enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for you to solve your problem. And I will see you guys in the next uh, um video. Don't forget to like, comment, rate, subscribe. Peace. I'm meant to make your daughter cry